Hello everybody, thank you for joining me in another of these crazy videos. Alright, so we've got a nominee that is totally about... Well, let me just read this to you. It's going to be a lot easier if I just read it. So this lady's name is... i got to find her again is her last name Stone Manning, okay? And she is being put up to run our Bureau of Land Management. So in the past, let's say, let's say 10 months or so, she has said or agreed with her husband. So at the very least he has some sort of, they agree basically. Uh, Tracy Stone Manning, that's it. All right, where is it, where is it? Her husband, Richard Manning, in 2018, wrote in Harper's that firefighters should let homes built in forests burn. So, you know, if you've got a house out there where you bought some land and it's in a, near a forest or in a forest, just let it burn. It doesn't matter. He said, there's a rude and satisfying justice in burning down the house of someone who builds in the forest. Miss Stone Manning cannot be held fully responsible for the views of her husband, but last September, she endorsed them. In a tweet, she called her husband's comments a clarion call. So she's, so the first thing she's okay with is, you know, letting our houses burn down. So let's also go over and listen to her proposal for some of this, um, uh, for the advertising, I guess you could say, of what Bureau of Land Management should say and what, how they should support things. Let's see if I get my mouse to communicate. There we go. Just listen to this nonsense. I ran across several things that surprised me. And honestly, the honesty of all this and what we can talk about with the tree spiking is one issue. This is an image of one of the things that she had written earlier. She'd recommended an advertising campaign to encourage people to have fewer children to be able to save the environment. What? And what she had designed and recommended was a photo of a child with a simple question, can you find the environmental hazard in this photo? Hmm. To make it clear, below it, she writes, that's right, the cute baby. She wrote this, a population tread lighter still treads. Oh yeah, you're going to love this. The origin of our abuses is us. If there were fewer of us, we would have less impact. We must consume less. And more importantly, we must breed fewer consuming humans. Now maybe that's an opinion. And he goes on to say maybe that's opinion shared by people in his little situation there. But he doesn't agree with that, and so he cannot support this nominee. I hope this person does not get in there, because basically, people like her support the idea that there should be less of us. Just like, what's his face? Uh, Steve Jobs. Not Steve Jobs. Dang it, he's dead. Uh, <laughs> who's the guy who runs Microsoft? See, this is my Swiss cheese brain at work. Um... I cannot think of his name. But anyway, he got on television and said that he thinks that the best efforts of our situation would be to have less of us. There's a there's a major push to have less of us. There's you've got abortions like on demand at whatever age you want. This lady and then oh my god, why can't I remember his name? It, it seems like I should be able to. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> I'll have it up here. Again, Swiss cheese brain from that PCOS. So, guys, there's a concerted effort just to get rid of us in general. Just as human beings, just there's less of, less, less, less. So who gets to decide who gets to stay and who should die? Who gets to decide who's important and who's not? Okay, we just recently now getting starting, uh, let's see, last month, I think, or the, the middle of this month, started with child payments where now the government's paying you for having you know this kid at this age and so much for this kid between these ages 
the very next thing they're going to start doing is start saying, well, you can only have so many children or you can only have them this for this long, or you can only have children if you're this, that, or the other, because, well, we pay you now. So we can't have you burdening the taxpayers. We can't have you burdening the system. We can't have you burdening the society with as many children, just having as many children as you want. We have to be able to lock that down. This is not a conspiracy theory. These people are coming out and saying this stuff just, you know, openly. They don't, they don't care. They want you to die. And yes, you, if they could eliminate you, then to them, that is the best way to protect the earth, to protect the resources they want. I mean, they don't ever just harry carry themselves. It's always the other person. Guys, you can't make this stuff up. <laughs> or correction, you can make it up. It's been all throughout sci-fi, but you know what? They're always the bad guys in sci-fi. Think about that. If you're a sci-fi person, and I am, I love science fiction. I think it is some of the best writing or imagining that we can do. But these people who are saying we need to have less people are always the bad guys, even when it starts out good. I mean, even in Star Trek, they say that this is bad. And Star Trek is one of the most liberal science fiction things that I can think of. And they're always like, yeah, it's bad to just randomly kill people or to have a lottery to kill people or whatever. In every way, in, in the two or three episodes that they've touched on this, this is very similar. This whole idea here that you can only have so many kids, that, that people are the problem, etc., is stuff that you see in China. It's how they got, it's what happened with the Holocaust, because as we all know, not just Jews died in the Holocaust. It was anyone that didn't match a certain criteria of person. Okay. I don't like what liberals do to my country. I think that it's a terrible thing, but I don't want them dead. I want them to change their mind. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think down in the comments. Had you heard about this? Because I know that I don't think any news media outlet is really covering this. All right. Bye.